Hi Mike, thank you for coming on Super User TV. Can you please tell us a little bit about yourself? Yeah, so I work, uh, I've been working on uh, the Cinder Project for some time, some people know that for me. Um, I'm also thinking on IRC. Um, so, you know, I was former PTL for the Cinder Project and Liberty and the Kilo release. And then right now I'm work focusing on uh, cross project efforts and uh, forming a team around that. Uh, and I'm, I have also recently joined uh, the TC, the technical committee. Great. So when you say you're working on cross projects, can you please tell us a little bit more about what that means? Yeah. So really common thing, and people kind of think like, oh, like you merge the projects together or something like that. And it's more like, you know, there are projects that are affected by certain issues inside of or certain issues or certain features that they can benefit from. And the problem is, is that uh, in typical cases, when OpenStack was originally formed, we sort of uh, did this whole silo thing where projects would go off into their own solution. And eventually, people would come up with, you know, coming sort of to the same path. But in the end, for the users and the operators that are ultimately going to consume whatever sort of features, uh, they would end up with a completely different interface across project. Quotas is a good example of that right now. I myself, as being you know part of this project since you know for a while, every single time that I have to change quotas for between Sender and Nova, I always have to look at the help usage every time. Yep. So, to enable this type of collaboration in the community, what what changes are being made to processes to help foster cross project right. collaboration? Yeah. So originally, right. So cross project team uh, originally, I think it was like. You know, maybe at the most, like maybe five people that would show up to this meeting, and uh, that you know maybe had an interest in it for different reasons or whatnot. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, like when you look at OpenStack today, right, with the Big Ten, like we have 50 plus projects at this point, right, and so getting collaboration across all those projects, five people that is not representing all of those teams, right? So in order to uh, you know, actually make progress in that area, we need like real people that are coming from those projects that understand those projects and uh, understand how they work and then as well as um, you know, having an interest in this sort of cross project problem. And whether or not, you know, whatever the initiative is that is affecting the projects, the fact that they can actually know somebody in their project that can, you know, bring uh, bring knowledge to that issue and actually bring a representative. So, right now we have now a team of you know representing all these big tent projects, and they, you know, we come together and we come together only when you know there's an affected issue for you know the set of cross pro we call them cross project spec liaisons, right? And so these people will come together and we review a specification that it affects them and they come into agreement and once that is agreed upon across the team, it could then, that solution, whatever it may be, can be rolled out. So an example of going back to the quotas issue, right? Um, we can, you know, and we can, uh, for example, come up with the interface of what that should look like. And then once we have an agreement across that, you know, that ultimately will, it will end up being beneficial for the end user with a consistent interface between RESTful interfaces as well as clients. Makes sense. So it sounds like you know, there's a tremendous amount of growth in the level of participation and activity for these types of cross-project initiatives yeah. overall, which is awesome. Um, so besides quotas, what are some of the other important cross-project discussions taking place at this summit in particular? Right. So like right now, uh, like as we saw from the from uh, Mark Collier's keynote message, right. We have OpenStack client, okay, and that is something that you know we came together as agreement in this group to uh, like right now there is a Cinder client, there's a Nova client, and so on, right? Um, and it would be great to just have a client that gives you uh, an interface of the resources that you're wanting to actually interact with, right? Um, I shouldn't know that I need a sender in order to do a volume. I shouldn't need to know what a cloud kitty is to do the thing that it does, right? Um, instead, I should be able to just say, hey, uh, server add, or, you know, um, sorry, server create or volume create. 
And that's the neat thing about this interface, right, is it's the resource and it's a set of consistent verbs to interact with those resources. And that right there is like hugely beneficial going back to the quota issue where I myself can say, I want to do OpenStack, you know, so the command would look something like OpenStack quota set, and then I could say dash dash whatever the resource is, volume, instances, vCPUs, memory, whatever it may be, I just say it right there. And that, you know, saves me time as a contributor to this project to not have to dig through the help usage. It's just a much better user experience. Um, and going along with that as well, right, we want, to, we want to keep that consistency going. So there's also standardizing on the service catalog. Okay, so, um, and with this particular initiative, right, we have right now where if you go to, it, you know, a variety of OpenStack public clouds and you're wanting to actually consume, like, say, the, for, like, the compute service or the volume service, that is not what it is today. It is whatever that the public cloud wants to actually define that resource as. It could be whatever they want in the service catalog. Us coming together and saying every single project now is going to be represented by a service so that, again, once again, you don't need to know about these code names. You don't have to be lost in the 50 plus projects and whatever, trying to figure out what this name means to what service. And that, you know, it's interesting that it took us a while to get to this point in realizing that, but I mean, we're, we're getting there now and, you know, this is going to ultimately benefit operators in the end. Completely agree. Uh, it sounds like, you know, there's a lot of standardization efforts going on on different fronts, and anytime we can make things intuitive through standardization or um, you know classified work, uh, you know life is good. So thank you so much for sharing that, and thank you for joining us on Super TV. Yep, thank you. <laughs>